in this tutorial I will show you how to create this looping fish animation using simple keyframes and expressions. Great for GIFs, social media or general animation. Let's dive in. I've already got my fish designed with the fins and tail on separate layers, all parented to the body layer. That way when I animate the body everything else will follow. Let's start with some movement. Select the body layer and press P for position and create a keyframe at the start of the timeline. Move forward 20 frames, move it up slightly, then forward another 20 frames and bring it back down to the original position. Highlight all the keyframes, right click and go to keyframe assistant, then easy ease to smooth things out. Now to loop this, hold alt or option and click the stopwatch to bring up our expression box and type loop out with a capital O open bracket, close bracket, and voila, it loops for the entire timeline. To make sure our animation loops seamlessly from the start to the end, the last frame needs to match the first. And since our last keyframe is at frame 40, let's move forwards another 40 frames. And we could end it here, but I'm going to move forward another 40 to give us some extra room if we want to adjust anything in the future. And now we move back one frame to avoid a duplicate, and press N on the keyboard to set the end of our work area here. And now when we play this through, it will loop seamlessly from the end back to the start again. Now let's add some rotation for extra character. Instead of matching the position keyframe timings exactly, we'll offset them slightly. At frame 10, right in between the first position keyframes, we will set a rotation to minus five. Move forwards 20 frames to frame 30 and rotate it to 15, plus 15. This keeps the movement feeling more natural and dynamic. Ease these keyframes the same way as before, then add another expression to the rotation. Loop out, again with a capital O, open brackets, and then this time inside quotation marks, we want to type in ping pong. Unlike the position loop, which jumps back to the start, this one bounces smoothly between the two keyframes, creating a natural back and forth motion. You'll notice the first 10 frames don't have any rotation, so let's fix that by moving our playhead to frame 10 and pressing B on our keyboard to set a new start point. And then we need to add the 10 frames that we removed from the start to the end to keep the loop seamless. Right, it's time to animate the tail and fins. Match their keyframes to the body's position keyframes. Start with a rotation of plus 10, move forwards 20 frames and rotate to minus 10. Then ease the keyframes and add the ping pong expression just like before. For the fins, rotate them in opposite directions to add some variation. It will just make the motion feel more dynamic and interesting. Before we move on, let's right click on the grey work area here and select Trim Comp to a work area. Now that we have our keyframes and animations set, this will just make our composition and timeline a lot tidier and easier to work with. And that's the fish all done, but let's add some movement to the background. Select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line that extends off screen at each end. Adjust the stroke to two pixels and choose the color you want and solo the layout so we can focus on just this one element. I also like to color code my layers so I can find them easily later on. Add a trim paths effect and then adjust the start and end properties to set the length of the line. After that, keyframe the offset to make the line move from right to left across the screen. Play around with the timings and the space in between the keyframes to get the speed just as you want it. Then, once we're happy, we can duplicate this line, change its position, adjust the start and end properties to change their length, and spread out the keyframes so they move at different speeds. And simply keep duplicating and repeating this process until you have a screen full of lines and you're happy with how they're moving. Then highlight all these layers and move them into the middle of our timeline so that they don't overlap the start or end. However, there is now a section at the start and end without any lines at all, which we do need to fill. 
So select all of our line layers and duplicate. Move them to the top and change the color to keep them separate. Now let's move our playhead into the middle of our timeline until there's a point in which we're happy with the position of the lines where we would like our loop to start from. Now with all these duplicate lines selected, hold shift and control or command and press D. This will cut our layers in half. We can move these up to keep them separate and maybe even change the color of these as well. Now we want to move these top layers, the second half, so that they start at the very beginning of our timeline. And then we want to move these other layers, the first half, to end at the very end of our timeline. And now when we watch it through, we will have a nice seamless loop. Unsolo all the line layers and move them below the fish, but above the background color layer. And that's it, a seamless looping animation of a swimming fish. Now that you've got your fish looping smoothly, keep an eye out for next week's tutorial or linked at the end of this video, where I will show you how to export it as a GIF for social media or your projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.